weekend uh, where a Formula 3 race didn't happen there. Brad Ritchie, yeah. to, uh, post Classics. Yeah, no, nah, excited. Awesome to see Duncan Coots, what a class act he was uh, last weekend, two from two, and uh, carrying on, massive advantage. is nearly a second ahead of uh, Jean-Louis on the beautiful FZR 1000, so uh, definitely going to look out. There's only a six-lapper, so uh, here we go. Under lights at the moment. We've got junior and senior bikes there, so uh, at the time it would have been Formula 1 and Formula 2 for the pre-89, so the junior and senior is uh, a separate scoring in that, and we do have the points in that, but right now uh, Scotty Finlay leads the points in the uh, junior, with Chris Sales and Dean Bentley second and third, Pe Duncan Coots, Peter Bogus and Jan Louie in the uh, seniors there, and is that Peter Bogus there in the front on the number 91 machine? Looks indeed, to, uh, yep, with no belly pan, Sean Donnelly on the beautiful Kawasaki in second, Jan Louie and uh, in fourth place, that uh, beautiful is it the colour code bike there in fourth place there, just waiting for our timing screen. We've got a few newcomers here, Finlay Harmon from uh, the um, wire wrapper there here as well. So uh, who is that? Is that Paul, Paul Wooden or Dick Marquet? So oh, Scotty Finlay there in fourth place there. Scotty Finlay, of course, yeah, trying to recognise the colours after last weekend. Duncan Coots back there in sixth place. He won both races last weekend, had a bit of a problem in the... Uh, I think the first race where he had a grub strew come out of his, uh, his gear change and it really almost brought him to a stop a couple of times and uh, still managed to get away with races. But the important thing, it didn't mean he had to dismantle his bike. Absolutely amazing bike too, an FJ1100 or 1200 Suzuki motor, a uh, uh, Yamaha motor. These were shaft drive, but it's been adapted to chain drive in a, in a, a chassis, I think, called a CMR, which is a the dimensions copied off the XR69 uh, Suzuki machine. So uh, really great to see Duncan. He's on a bit of a road trip to Timaru racing uh, two weeks ago. We had 50 races, 350 bikes. And then they were at uh, Taupo last weekend. He's from Northland and back down to Manfield this weekend. And then, of course, he'll be at the Suzuki Series uh, final at the Cemetery Circuit in a few days. Yeah, so I know Duncan Coots crossed the line in uh, fifth place there. So he'll be a man on a mission. He'll be one to watch out for on, uh, on that CMR uh, Yamaha. So, uh, yeah, well, Sean Donnelly, a good start there on that awesome uh, Eddie Lawson replica uh, Z1000. So, uh, awesome uh, start from Sean. We see Jean-Louis getting out of the uh, left-hand hip and there and onto the centre straight. Watch that FZR1000. Uh, reel him in and have a go around the outside for second place. And Duncan Coots as well on the charge. He's up into fourth as well as they head into Higgins. But uh, Peter Bogut out in front and uh, trying to get away with this one, Spider. Yeah, I, I've got to be fair to uh, Sean Donnelly. He's on a genuine pucker pre-82 machine. And in the post-classic racing uh, and the classic racing, there is a pre-82 class. So he's, uh, of course, the way they've set up these classes over the years, the pre-82 was defined as a generation of bikes that were relatively similar. Once we come along to 83, we saw mono shocks and, and uh, oil cooling and that sort of thing. So they set the benchmark at pre-82 and then pre-89, and uh, occasionally we get a pre-82 uh, bike that is shining and right down the front straight there, uh, almost a change of position. Duncan Coots just about goes up into third place there, a separation by less than uh, point one, point oh one one, 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 eleven thousandths of a second between those. And of course, as I say that, the pass has gone on. So there it is uh, in third place, Duncan Coots, and he's right on the tail of John Louis. He'll need to get ahead there. We've got uh, six laps to go. I think he can get ahead of this and maybe reel in the lead bike. Peter Godis on the bogus on the 91 machine, and uh, he's pretty quick around here. Qualified fastest uh, was Duncan Coots, then John Louis, and Peter Bogus. A 13, a 14, and a 14 for those three guys. We'll see what he's got already that uh, Duncan Coots, who started off in about sixth place after about lap one, is up to third and closing in there. Indeed, uh, where's his lap time there? 114.696 or 114.2 last lap for Peter Bogus. So Peter Bogus has still got the legs down that back straight, particularly. Yeah, I noticed Mark Hay got a bad jump off the line too, qualified quite well up in fourth position. He sits in about uh, seventh, uh, sixth or seventh position at the moment. So on the uh, ZXR 1100, he'll be looking to uh, play catch up at the moment. But this three pack at the front looking to break away and uh, interesting to see around Taupo where Scotty Finlay on the ZX400 uh, up in second place in this week around Manfield where the horsepower matters. He's, uh, he's uh, the head of the juniors, but he's in... Uh, Seventh place at the moment on the race. Of course, we got 14 quarters at Taupo. we just seven here at Manfield, so the little bikes often have uh, their day in the sunshine. Uh, just with being able to get through those corners quicker, the uh, lighter weight means uh, later breaking into the corner, and of course, being able to flick them easier, less time. We had a 50 something degree, 50 degree track temperature last weekend. I'm not sure what the track temperature is here at Manfield. As we look out there, two, four, six, seven place Dean Bentley, who on the 511 machine, he's another post classic junior. He was. Uh, 
uh, man that led into the first lap or so at Taupo last weekend but faded somewhere during the race. So uh, right now here comes Duncan Coots up on the inside of uh, Jan Louis there at the uh, Higgins corner. He makes that pass sticky. He outbreaks uh, Jan Louis there and look at the lead. He's got uh, ahead of third place down the back straight. There was probably 15 bike lengths but the GSX R11, sorry the Yamaha FZR1000 reels him in down that break straight. It's a breaking jaw. Both these riders are now getting close to number 91, the uh, lead bike uh, Peter Bogus there uh, with five laps to go here for the Tate Pierce Chartered Accountants. Rutland Arms supported Post Classic Pre-89 Classics, uh, Post Classic sorry, uh, Junior and Senior. Yeah, Lindsay Tate, he's been sponsoring uh, this semi, uh, cemetery circuit and that for as long as I can remember and uh, a yeah, great uh, a little bit of a name change there. Tate Pierce, Chartered Accountants, Wanganui. So, uh, yeah, great to have them on board and all our sponsors for the Suzuki Series as we uh, watch them go into the S's really tight now at the front spider. Indeed, in the fastest laps, Duncan Coops, a 1.12.9, a 1.14.5. So uh, that's about one and a half seconds quicker than the lead bike. Duncan Coots sitting in second. You can see this race coming in and out of the hairpin. The white bike is Peter Bogus. And the multicoloured bike is uh, in second spot there is Duncan Coots on 58. John Louis from the Hawks Bay there on the third bike there. The number 88 uh, machine, and that is uh, a Yamaha FZR1000. We slip back down into fourth spot. And I think that's number 521. Indeed, it is Paul Watton there. You can see this battle uh, for fourth, fifth, and sixth going in and out of Higgins. In behind them, I think you'll find that's Mark Hay. And then number three, Sean Donnelly from the Capity Coast. A good battle between Dean Bentley, uh, the first of the uh, junior bikes, and uh, Scotty Finlay there. In fact, Dean said he couldn't, uh, had no chance of beating Scotty at uh, Taupo last weekend. Something has changed there, and those guys are going into the Go Media Sweeper, coming onto the front straight. So this is the first of the post-classic juniors for the Lindsay Tate, well, it used to be Lindsay Tate, Tate Pierce Chartered Accountants for the post-classic junior and senior. Tight battle there between 5'11 and 77, the junior bikes. We look out to the lead there, Brad Ritchie. New leader, new leader. Uh, happened uh, just coming out of the game, but we've got that uh, gearbox issues again, I believe. He's just hit a false neutral, I reckon, in there. So uh, Duncan Coots, we saw him last week having all sorts of trouble getting that bike into gear, and... Uh, Oh, this is unfortunate. He doesn't look like he's having much trouble getting that going. So that leaves uh, Jean Louis, I believe, has taken the lead of this one ahead of Pia Bogish. And uh, that Duncan Coots machine, that's pulling over. I don't know what's happened there, Spider. Well, I did talk to him last night, and he showed me where the grub screw had come out, the external gear change me a mechanism about. Uh about 150 millimetres behind the engine, so I, I would suspect he might have done something to his clutch the way he was looking down towards the front of the bike or had a brake issue. But the main thing is he's pulled off the track and he is safe. So uh, John Louis opens it up down the back straight. We've got about uh, 70 metres between first and second ahead of Peter Bogus. We go down to Mark Hay on the 521 machine there in third spot. And uh, in fact, that's Paul Watton followed by, I think, Mark Hay. Paul Watton followed by Mark Hay. That is how it sits there. Sean Donnelly, that's the top six by on the track. In fact, we've got one of those out there. Of course, Duncan Coots' sideline, so we're looking out for the uh, junior race there. That's a tight race coming onto the front straight here. 5'11 versus 77. 5'11 versus 77. Dean Bentley from Lower Hutt. And uh, number 77 is Scotty Finlay from Auckland on the Kawasaki ZXR 400. A long, long way back in local boy, I think, 321. And this is uh, Chris Sales. Last weekend, I mentioned that uh, Chris Sales uh, is on his father's bike with an XR500 motor in it, and it used to be a, um, a CR125 Elsinore frame. It's great that uh, Pete actually listened to me and said uh, and wrote me out a bit of information. He says now the frame has changed to an 81 XR250R uh, ProLink converted to twin shock now. So you take away a single shock and go to twin shock and look at this amazing motorcycle, the Fox 321 machine. Both father and son have had some great races over the seasons on that. And the uh, number 14 machine, Jeff Crute, is just ahead of Tony Skirmars. And that's Jeff Crute on the uh, ZXR, uh, Wayne Marshall owned bike, ZXR 750. And Tony Skirmars, I think, is on a CBR 600 uh, Honda. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a CBR 600 Honda. So two laps to go at the moment there, Brad Ritchie. Yeah, white flag out and uh, definitely uh, watch Peter Bogish get into the S's. So that's one thing. He's a little bit closer than he was coming across the line this time around. So watch that smaller bike come into the uh, infield section and into splash. He looks like he might have, be close enough to have a look. And then the battle for third. That's one uh, we've been keeping an eye on. Have a look at the inside there. Looks like uh, he's going to have a little run up the inside into Toyota and uh, might have made it stick. Well yeah, done. That's Mark Hay on the red uh, Suzuki ahead of uh, Paul Watton, five. 2-1. Uh, Paul Watton seems to be reeling him in, going through this uh, right-hander there through the S's. Uh, so this is the battle for third and fourth. The lead battle has gone into the hairpin. It is right in the apex of the hairpin at the moment. The blue bike versus the white bike. The 88 machine of... Uh, 
John Louis from the Hawks Bay and Peter Bogus here on the white bike. John Louis bike's a bit uh, quicker down that centre straight. They are going to come across one lapper, I think, between now and the distance, uh, the final uh, corner there. Uh, but the that, inside, I don't know. Change for the lead, change for the lead. I think we've got a change for the lead. Well, that might play a part as well, Spider. Well, here we go, both around the outside there, down the back straight there. Brad, I'll let you take this to the line. Have a go. Peter Bogus, real good under brakes. I think he'll have it, but uh, see if John Luke can hold a little bit of corner speed out of the go media right hand. They go a little bit out of sight, then they flick back in. It's Peter Bogus at the moment, heading out of the go media right hand and onto the front straight. It's going to be a drag to the line. There's nothing in it. John Louis on the SNR 1000. Peter Bogus on the line one machine. He does it. Peter Bogus, what a win. And some bad luck to uh, Duncan Coots, is uh, meant for an awesome finish with Peter Bogus ahead of John Louis. 54, Mark Hay takes the uh, third place on the podium. And uh, Paul Wootham on the 521 machine goes through there. Sean Donnelly there on the uh, number three bike. So what have we got in the terms of uh, lap records here? The post-classic lap record, I don't think this will be touched today. It's Glenn Skatchel on a 1831. We're in the 112 nines. Glenn Skatchel not riding at the moment. Uh, broke his collarbone, I think, during the week mountain biking after a successful weekend at Benf uh, Taupo for the first round of the Suzuki Series last weekend. 321 goes through, 14 goes through, and then number 18, 321 is Chris Sales, 14 is uh, Jeff Crute, and uh, it's uh, all entertaining racing. That's the first race done and dusted of today's racing. Of course, we've had a Formula 3 race, which is a carryover of last...